I'm Johnny Smith and this is the very first Late Break Show on tour live event here in Kent. What is this event? Well, we decided to take the YouTube channel and bring it to real life. We've got barn finds, we've got launches, we've got uh, my project vehicles that I've dragged here in various states of disrepair. We've got projects of the people over there. I'm going to be doing an idle chat this time with Goblin Garage Works' is, uh, Jimmy DeVille, who's brought a lovely Mini, actually, custom Mini. We're going to have a live Q&A with myself and Sniff Petrol, aka Richard Porter. And we're also going to be doing a charity pub quiz, as written by Richard Porter. Come with me, let's go and have a look. Because this is the first show, it's a prototype really, we're sucking it and seeing. I'm not a professional show organiser. After all that's happened in the last 18 months or so, I wanted to just have a little gathering and if it goes okay, do this sort of thing more often. Over here we've got Projects of the People. This was born out of lockdown actually, where we wanted to get people to share their projects, their garage builds with us. And that's why we've dedicated this whole side of the show to these cars. I say cars. We have some non-cars as well, fresh from Thailand, Tuk Tuk, which is bloody excellent. Everything from that to an RS6, to a Beetle project, which hasn't been on the road in 20 years, and it got driven 250 miles here. Awesome. Again, this is a little display that I want to increase as we go on. Barn finds. It's one of the most popular parts of the Late Break Show channel. We've got the Alpha that came from the barn finds feature with Will. We've got the Allegro SS. I love this car. There's only two left on the road in the world. This isn't a barn find. It's actually been parked in the wrong place. I'll move it in a minute. This is the Ferrari 250 GTO Resto mod that we featured on the channel. And I love this car. I love the whole ethos of it. Uh, the fact that it's built to be driven and abused using more modern Ferrari parts. A hell of a beast. And again, it's one of the things that we decided to make a film on on the show that we wanted to bring here in the metal for people to have a look at. I wanted to try and get a wide variety of cars, vehicles, to the late break show, which is why you've got everything from that, my mate Lewis's International Harvester pickup, to something like that, the new Rolls-Royce Ghost. And actually that's been brought here by the guy who helped to develop the Rolls-Royce Ghost. And he wanted to bring it and open it up and let people actually sit in and experience what a Rolls-Royce is like, because a lot of people don't get that chance. It's fabulous to have that kind of juxtaposition. And talking of juxtaposition, this little corner here is a representation of the car caves element of the Late Break Show. And the car caves is all about going to someone's garage or lockup and seeing what kind of vehicles they own and why they own them. And this one here is Richard Gill. He's got an incredible mix of cars, everything from a uh, Lamborghini Murcielago to this Resto Mod Mini, which is unbelievable inside, to that and that there, his pair of Land Rover Defender X Ambulance luxurious motorhomes. They're just, they're just stunning. And this is what I like about the Late Break Show. This is what I want to try and do. You have all of this stuff, and then we come on to stuff like EVs. Look, you might see the blue air dancer because it's rigged up to the Hyundai Ionic 5, which is actually really one of the cars, the new cars of the moment. This little centerpiece here was a selection of the launches playlist from the Late Break Show. This is the modern cars, which I think are interesting enough, important enough to feature on the channel. Everything from this to the Ami in there, the electric Ami, the Taycan, the fantastic Peugeot 508 PSE. These are just interesting new cars um, that people want to know about. We don't feature every new car on the Late Break Show, we just sort of pick. I try and pick what I think is going to be interesting enough. That's definitely interesting enough. That's the Fiat 500 electric that I took round Birmingham to the Italian Quarter. The new Mocha with the Vauxhall's new front design language. I really like their new design, I think it's cool. You might recognise that thing there. Uh, that nearly ended up getting completely submarined when we did a film about it and I took it for a trip into a quarry. It didn't quite go according to plan. But look, it survives to tell the tale. It's absolutely fine. Fine. Let's go over here. 
we had to bring the brown chairs. Who needs the pyramid stage at Glastonbury when you've got a fairly small box trailer with two brown chairs in it? We're going to be doing an idle chat here. That's the playlist on the show where I, I do a fairly kind of um, intimate interview with someone significant. The sketchiest thing I've ever built was my flying machine out of a KTM 125 motorbike. <laughs> in Austria and I tried to fly over a mountain and I got to 9,900 feet and the engine cut out. <laughs> and I snapped this leg. And I was lying in this ditch and the cameraman ran over. He said, Jimmy, are you all right? And I said, yeah, I'm all right. And he goes, what should I do? I went, film the out of it because this is going to be great television. We have got some merch. We've been beavering away. My wife has been beavering away on Late Break Show, proper merchandise which you've got there, and Car Pervert merchandise, because remember the channel used to be called Car Pervert, and my, my AKA is Car Pervert, really. Um, go from that, feel free to buy some merch, it's available in the eShop. Um, this is my project car area. A really important part of the Late Break Show is always the cars that I buy, I spend my own money on, modifying, restoring, whatever. Um, people seem to be interested in that. So we've dragged a few of them here in their unfinished state. One of them being the Allegro, which is worryingly popular. The V6 uh, Street Sleeper Allegro, obviously in a state of mid-build. Um, but again, I wanted to try and get it here. And a big thanks to Midland Performance and Retro and um, uh, the guys at Enhance. Uh, we've got to thank a lot of people for helping get this car here, because just to move a half-built car is really difficult. I drove a Charger on the M25 in rush hour. That was fun. Um, I've got the, the Tokyo taxi here, the Cedric, the JDM Nissan Cedric taxi that runs on LPG only. And my wife's Nissan Figaro down there and talking to my wife's car right up there. You can see on the terraces, that's the Jimny, which my nephew came down in. But again, every late break show live on tour event, if we can, we'll try and bring a good selection of my own project cars. We've got Ian here. Ian Cook, the artist that lives and breathes and paints with model cars inside a Chevy Spark. Brilliant, brilliant guy, very talented, but he wanted to come along and I really wanted to have him here because I love supporting smaller, more interesting cottage industries. So thank, have a look at Ian, he does some very, very cool stuff. He's drawn one of my cars. This is the bit where you, where you come in to the little grassy amphitheatre bit. I just wanted to, uh, I'm still trying to work out how to do all this laying out stuff, but I thought, how's a good way to represent the channel in, in a pair of cars? And I remember the first video that I did on the Late Break Show was the freshly launched Honda E. I had to bring one of these cars, I just think it's an amazing piece of design, it's, it's interesting, it's beautiful, it's bold. And I, then I had to bring along the car that it sort of inspired it, the original Civic, the original kind of city Honda, um, which I still think looks so great and cute. I love yellow cars. That's why they're here and they're interesting, right? But down here, we've got a touring car from Team Hard. We've got an Infinity touring car, like one or two seasons old. It's really, really good. It's the real deal. Um, and then we've got a whole eclectic mix of people's cars that they want to come. The idea with the Late Break Show live on tour is you, you can either just buy a ticket and come and look around or you can buy a ticket and display your car. And that's what these are. So it's everything and anything you can think of from Skylines to Turbo Renaults. And then over here, Land Rovers, Transit Campers, Jimneys, Alpha Sud, Jetta Mark II. When was the last time you saw a first gen Mondeo not being bang erased? Here. We never really know what's going to turn up, so it's really heartwarming to see such a, a wide variety of stuff. You know, MR2, XJS, Corrado, 911 Speedster, what a rare groove that is. That should be in there actually, I'm going to have to get that move. R35 Skyline, Merc W123, which I've had a few of, I love these. My dad's first car, the Singer, Chamois, Chami, Chamois. Right next to, you know, the new Z4, which you don't see that many of in the grey matte finish, which is rare. We've got a police car, 80s police car, SD1 behind it. Fast saloons, there's a couple of fast estates actually. I've seen another one somewhere. We've got, a, we've got an RS6 and an RS4 somewhere. My favourite M5 with the, the double shotgun exhaust. 
Mr. Twos. There's another Mr. Two. Aston, Aston next to a, a Mark II granny. Really, really good to see such a wide section. Baja Bug, Beetle Carmen Convertible. A CLS AMG 63. I've blimmin' went on the launch of that car. Haven't seen one since. Brilliant. I'm gonna go back up here now. My people need me. <laughs>